welcome back to my channel. I know you probably feel like you've seen this outfit a million times by now, but I did pre-film so much content today. It's been a big day for me. If you guys are new here, welcome. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for joining my channel. And if you're not already subscribed, I hope you do by the end of this video because I would love to have you a part of this channel. Today's video is going to be all about my 12 to 18 month activities. It is winter and it's really hard at the moment to do much outside. So I want to share with you guys some of the things that I love doing with Hunter and a few of them are going to be outdoors just because I know not all of you are in winter, but I wanted to give you guys a few ideas just because at this age they are very active. They don't want to sit still and just watch TV all day and um, it can be really tiring as a mom constantly on the go trying to keep them amused. So I hope this gives you some ideas for things to do with your toddler. The first thing that Hunter absolutely loves is puzzles at the moment. He is just loving picking them up, looking at them, he points at them and I sit there and I tell him what each thing is. So we have puzzles with numbers on them, we have puzzles with animals on them and they're only $2 each from Kmart. They are so cheap. I'll insert a photo here of what they look like on the website but he absolutely loves sitting down and playing with those. I actually got them for him before he was 12 months old but at the moment he is really actually starting to learn to put things back into place so I'm finding that it's really good for teaching him that as well. The next one is painting. When he was a lot younger I used to put a piece of paper inside a Ziploc bag and put paint in there and then zip it up so that he couldn't get any mess anywhere which worked really well except now he can actually lift those up and pull the sticky tape off. So now I just do normal painting but painting is a great one. If you guys get those bath washable paints even better because you can just throw them in the bathtub, give them the paints and let them paint the sides of the bathtub. It's a great indoor activity for when it's too cold to be outside or if it's raining or in Queensland's case too hot to be outside. Drawing. So at this age your child is starting to learn how to draw when you teach them and I have no idea where I've put them but I have these special crayons that they can hold that don't just snap in half like a normal one which I'll insert a photo of. They're only like $5 from Baby Bunting and I find that it's really good because he can see the colour come off, he can just kind of muck around with it but they are really low mess unlike painting and they are just a little bit of fun for him. I even like the fact that I can kind of draw pictures and then he'll point at them and I can kind of say what they are. Not that I am the best artist or anything. A really handy tip when it comes to doing crafts is to use them as gifts. Grandparents love getting things from their grandchildren and it keeps your house decluttered. Just give them around, give them to aunts, uncles. It makes them feel included in their life but it also means that you don't have a hundred things at home. Just keep a folder of the best things that you love. Stories. Hunter absolutely loves books at this point. He loves sitting there. He loves being able to point at things and say what they are. He loves to touch and feel books. We can sit there for ages and just read a lot of books and they are something that is really important at this age because they are learning so much um, language wise and it's just a very important thing but it's a really easy thing if you don't feel like going out you can kind of just sit down and read them to them. I'm even finding now that I can kind of put them in front of Hunter and he will kind of read them to himself as well. Rhythm and rhyme. Something that Hunter absolutely loves at the moment is music and dance. He loves getting up to dance. He's 14 months old and something that I try and take him to now is rhythm and rhyme at the local library where they sing songs and get up and dance around and at home I'm starting to put even on YouTube just some music that he can dance to. He absolutely loves it and it keeps him entertained for an extra however long so I can kind of get a few things done or at least sit down and have a break. His toy kitchen. They learn so much at this age and one of the things in the Wonder Weeks app is at the moment the current leap that he's just been through is learning about the things around the house. So things like washing and things in the kitchen and all of that. So I really love that he has his toy kitchen. He can learn to put things in the sink. He can learn to how to use the oven dial the handles, he can pour things with his kettle now and turn it on and it's just great role play. 
Role play is something that's really important from this age all the way through to the next couple of years. Um, and it's just something really easy to do and really fun. And I really love seeing him learn all the different things when it comes to his kitchen. And because it's just a one piece item, it's not really going to create a huge amount of mess because everything just goes back in the cupboards afterwards. I do find that the uh, play fruit is also great because I can kind of teach him like what a banana is and what an apple is and he can kind of grasp the words from those as well. Stacking tower. I'm going to insert a picture and these were really good when Hunter was younger, like he could look at them and everything, but at the moment he's learning to actually put them on and off. And we sit there for ages, just him putting them on, off, on, off, and he loves it. He gets so much happiness out of it. And every time he puts it back on, he claps and he expects everyone else to clap. And it's just another easy, simple thing where they're learning to do something but having fun at the same time and don't have to go anywhere to do it. So this toy is something that has been around for a very long time. In fact, it was out when I was a kid and you can get different variations of it these days, but most of you should know, especially if you live in Australia, what it is. There is this little like hexagon thing that you have all different shapes and Hunter is really loving this now at his age because he is starting to realize that he can put things in there and he's also starting to recognize matching the shapes which is a really important development skill but also it takes a bit of time so he sits there for a while it amuses him for a while and I'm just finding that it's a really good learning tool but also just giving him something else to do inside that keeps him occupied. Something that I noticed in the milestone app that we use, which is called Wonder Weeks, was that for his current age now, we should be starting to teach them all about um, their hygiene. So one of the things it recommended is to grab a baby doll. More importantly, to get one that has the same um, genitals as their own gender so that you can teach them how to bath themselves um, we actually really love this because I take his baby in the bath so that he can kind of get involved and learn how to wash baby and I really love that aspect for it for when we do have the new baby that he kind of knows and understands how to wash baby and so he's more gentle with the new baby. Uh, but it is a really important thing. I've also noticed that, you know, I put a cloth nappy onto his baby and I dress his baby. And so because baby has clothes on, he wants clothes on, which is really important because beforehand he just hated having clothes put on. So I'm trying to do some of the similar things like putting baby to bed or he gives baby a bottle and stuff like that. It's just more role play, but it's something else that can kind of keep them amused and also help them learn. Musical instruments. My son loves noise, like absolutely loves it. And he loves hitting things. His dad plays the drums, so I'm not surprised. And when I was pregnant with him, my husband always played heavy metal music. So he doesn't even like any kind of normal R&B or like country music. He only wants to listen to really heavy, dark stuff like his dad. So I found things like drums or maracas. You can buy a set of two maracas for like five or ten dollars from Kmart and you can buy a little drum that they can hit or if you want to be really old school you can just get pots and pans and wooden spoons. Uh, that's another thing that is a great activity to do with your child because it's a see and react. They're seeing um, like they're trying to do something and seeing how it reacts to them. Something else that's a great um, see and react toy is the mobile phone that he has. He sits there and we kind of pretend to have phone calls with each other and he'll have little conversations and he'll press buttons on it and that's always a great amount of fun. You don't have to buy them that kind of toy if you don't want to, but just something that is a see and react kind of toy and more interactive is going to be a great activity with them. Sand play. If it is warm enough for the beach, take them to the beach. If it's not, sit at home, make your own like little sand pit in the baby bath or something and they will love the different textures and you can bury things and they can try and like dig them out again. That's another great activity for them that they're going to love. Water activities are also great, especially if it's warmer weather. 
We loved taking Hunter to the water park, but there are other things that you can do at home, such as just simple bath play, or even the little water tables, which I'll insert a photo of, and you can fill this with sand or water, and they can stand and play with them and muck around with them, and they're a great at-home activity. Indoor play centers. If your child is getting sick of being at home and you just want something that you can take them to, that you can sit down and relax and you don't have to chase them, take them to an indoor play center and let them run wild. At this age, a lot of them will be at least crawling, if not walking, so they are a little bit more independent to be able to do things and they're going to love the change of environment. And it doesn't matter on the weather outside at all because you can take them there it's not going to be cold, it's not going to be hot, it's not going to be raining and they are going to just have so much fun. It's also a great way to have some mum time with your friends because you can all sit around have a coffee while they are off playing. It's so much harder to take them to a cafe where they can't get down and move around especially when they're walking so an indoor play centre is a great idea. The last one is the library. It's free to use in Australia. You can go along, you can get some books. It means you don't have to spend money buying new ones for at home. You can change them. Um, there are lots of different programs that you can go to there. They have story times that the kids can go to. Lots of different things. So that is definitely another option. I hope you guys enjoyed these activity ideas for 12 to 18 months. If you have something you love doing with your 12 to 18 month old, let me know in the comments down below. Hunter absolutely loves riding his bike outside, but it is just too cold at the moment. So these are just some of my ideas that I love to do, especially while it is too cold to be going to the beach or the pool or anything with him. Otherwise, I would totally be doing that with him. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I will see you guys in the next one.